Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. I have a question. Have you ever seen a multi-level marketing hun boss babe call out another multi-level marketing hun boss babe? It's one of my favorite things to watch because that means that that person has done something so egregious that they're willing to look almost like an anti-MLM content creator by telling this person what they're doing is wrong and why. Today we're going to see that and I am so excited because we're going to be looking at a coach, an MLM coach. She's a pretty big coach and she's also an active MLM distributor and a couple of MLMs. Her name is Colleen Nichols, also known as No Shame Sales Game. And when I say her name is so ironic, you have no idea, but I'm going to show you today. I do have plenty of other videos on her and I have a her in quite a few top fails. I'll try to remember to put some links up here. I'm not sure I'm not good at that. But if you just like go search my channel and type in no shame sales game, you will see some videos pop up for sure. Or even Colleen. Colleen made a mistake. And I understand we can forgive people when they make mistakes, when they ask for forgiveness and depending on the mistake. However, the problem here is that Colleen does not think what she did is a mistake. We're going to get all into it. Let's get started. Colleen Nichols, No Shame Sales Game Lady. This is something that I didn't think she would do, but lately she's done some very odd posting. She posts a lot of like stuff about Starbucks and how it's the same as an MLM and like affiliate link. Some very ridiculous stuff that we've all heard if you've been a part of anti-multi-level marketing content. It's like their Pinterest quotes for MLM people. And she's known for being, what's the word? Bold, trying to change the MLM narrative, trying to be less hey hun. I actually think her Instagram says something about that. She literally calls herself the anti-hey girl. So, you know, she's trying to quote unquote change the MLM game, uh, which many of them tried to do. But honestly, she misses the mark. So let's get into what happened. She posted this after the Super Bowl and it says, Rihanna performed the Super Bowl halftime show pregnant. You're not too busy or tired to work your business today. And I want to shout out to all the people in the comments because I see plenty of people who are anti-MLM in the comments, you know, talking about how this is like toxic hustle culture. I think the comments did this post well. And I do see quite a few anti-MLM people in the comments talking about how this is just toxic hustle culture and you don't need to compare yourself to someone and saying really good things. But... There are some incredible, and listen, I don't give out that many compliments to MLM people, some incredible comments that I think are super crucial. So I'm going to read it one more time, and then we're going to go through a few of them. It says, Rihanna performed the Super Bowl halftime show pregnant. You're not too busy or tired to work your business today. So after I read some comments to you that are wild, I mean, seriously, these are so important. I think they're really, really good. And I don't usually, you know, give MLMers, like I said, a props, but I'm going to give them that today. After I read these comments, I'm going to let you see her reaction to them and her response. Let's get started. This person said, I normally love your straight talk and find you really motivating, but I find this really out of touch and I'm surprised, honestly. In 2023, there's no reason to play this crazy comparison game and call it motivation. Work your business or don't. Either's fine. Rihanna was absolutely a boss babe last night performing pregnant. It was inspiring for sure, but the reality is she has a tribe to make that happen. I don't like the use of word tribe there, but we're gonna just keep going. And that's okay, but no other woman needs to feel less than because she can't hit that mark today. Let's just celebrate other women without the constant comparison game. Iconic, great comment, and there's more. This person says, yeah, because a superstar who got paid millions to perform, I will say really quick that they do not get paid to perform at the halftime show. A lot of people actually spend a lot of money. However, on the back end, the publicity, she probably got paid a lot on that end, but not like to perform. 
So I'll start from the beginning, but I just want to make that correction. Yeah, because a superstar who got paid millions to perform is the same as the average woman getting up and getting shit done today. Good for Rihanna, but not seeing the correlation. Someone else says, this seems very out of pocket for this account. Hashtag anti-hustle culture. Another says, sorry, but this is just everything that is wrong with toxic hustle culture and the reason why so many women struggle with feeling like they're good enough. You can be too tired, period. I think what this person said is so good. Okay, when you live in the world of love and light hun fluff, it can be very hard to discern the difference between angry comments and critical discourse. When you have a large following and you're a public brand, you open yourself up to that. For the love of God, show some respect to the people who have taken their time to give your company feedback. It's not always personal. Another, ugh, shaming women through the classic comparison game. Why can't we celebrate and honor the various expressions of faithful mothering? Someone else said, some women get more energy while pregnant. Let's not compare health. This is super toxic. Or this post is super toxic. Most out-of-touch content you've ever put out. Wrong statement to make on so many levels. Also shows how out of touch you are. You really are on motherhood versus careers. Sorry, but this is so awful. This isn't motivating. It's judgmental. Some people have lupus, cancer, Hashimoto's, etc. Some women have crazy pregnancy complications. Some women have severe PPD. Some women are tired. As someone who just recently lost their dad, how about you not tell me or judge me what I am too tired or busy to do today. This post is so toxic. Also the fact that you're trying to compare the everyday woman to a to an A-list celebrity multi, well, she's billionaire woman, is both hilarious and heartbreaking. Someone said, as a stillbirth mama, this post is your worst, most toxic, yet I'm out. How about, let's not invalidate people feeling tired and taking self-care like resting. I wanna say that I'm not even skipping much her comments are horrible. The majority, I would say close to 99%, kind of like the amount of people that don't make money in MLMs, are against her posting this. Someone said, this isn't very no shame sales game of you. And I was looking for the comments that she commented back on. I don't know if she deleted her comments or what, but I wanted to read these last couple to you and then we'll get into her response. Here are the last couple I'm going to read. There's so many, though. It says, I truly despise this type of messaging. I'm either a boss bitch who gets it done or I'm not. She quotes Colleen saying, if that triggers you, you have your answer. And then this commenter continues, how about we champion Rihanna for her accomplishment and also champion women who say, I need to pause. How about we come together and for those that need support, we give it to them instead of this type of messaging that truly does impact women's mental health. I am in awe of what Rihanna did last night. But also, let's remember the type of support system Rihanna has that so many women do not. A woman is allowed to pause, breathe, and prioritize rest. For anyone reading this, please know it's okay to not get it all done. Sometimes it's truly impossible. So instead of tearing other women down, can we find a way to champion both sides of the coin? Another person says, as someone who is at the top of a company and runs my own separate successful company, this is toxic. For those reading, you do not need to live up to an impossible standard to make it. I ruined my health chasing hustle culture and wish I'd learn you can work smart, not hard. You can work smarter, not harder. Build a business that supports you, empowers you, has your back when you need to rest. That's what the benefit of this business is all about. Okay, so I normally don't read those things. Their voices in this were very important. I'm going to read it one more time and then we're going to get to her response. Rihanna performed the Super Bowl halftime show pregnant. You're not too busy or tired to work your business today. This is Colleen's response to the many, many comments. Okay, hi to everyone who is bent the fuck out of shape from today's post. I like posted it and then went to go do a workout and work. Um, and my husband <laughs> texted me. He was like, way to trigger some people today. And one of my good friends just called me. She's like, solidarity. I was like, what's happening? I have I didn't even go look. So first off, I want y'all to notice, I don't know if you can see it very well, but she has posted several, four, seven comments, four, five, five comments, I guess I can't count, of people with their names in there just showing them on the screen. And she just said that they're bent the F out of shape is pretty much what she's saying, that they're triggered, you know. So she's just blasting their comments. She's actually continuing to shame these people, specifically these 
I said five, but I guess I can't count. <laughs> These six people she's continuing to shame and like blast on her stories right here. Because this in general, her post in general is shaming people to get to work. If you have to compare them and say, this person can do this, you can do that. No, that's not necessarily true. Everybody has a different life. Everybody's going through different things. You can't say that all people can do the same thing. That's impossible. Some people are physically unable to do things that an Olympian can. Rihanna doing a Super Bowl halftime is not the same as, and this is what someone else said, working your business. They, they are not the same thing. And for Colleen to say that, she's shaming other people. And also doing a comparison game, which is which honestly, I'm not surprised by because she's that kind of person. She's rude and she has to use shame to get people to do stuff. But I'll stop talking and we'll keep listening to her response. Okay. You missed the point. Rihanna got out there last night and did not give the best Super Bowl performance. She basically stood there and walked around and sang and lip synced and did whatever. She got it done. That's the thing. All of us are playing our own Super Bowl, our own life situation, and you can get it done. You're not going to be the best every single time. And you don't have to be. Rihanna was like, fuck it. She could have deferred and said, I'll do it next year when I'm in the best shape of my life. She doesn't need the Super Bowl money. She didn't, like, whatever. She could have said no. She said, yeah, okay, let's go. And I've never. So we'll pause there. Um, you're still shaming people to work because not everyone can do that. Like the person said who just lost her father. She said that she got it done. That's the thing. You can get it done. But here's the deal. Not everyone can every day or that day. Things happen in people's lives that make them have to take a moment. I had a family member pass away last week and I've had a lot of stuff going on. I asked my teacher, hey, can I take a few days off and take the exam later next week because I just don't have the capacity to study right now. Our teacher said yes, because she knows that me having a family member pass away and everyone else who didn't experience that same thing that week are at a different place. Emotionally and mentally and even physically, there are different concerns in that moment. And she understood. She did not shame me. She did not say, no, you still need to study and take it. Everyone else is studying. So can you. No, she gave me the time that I needed. I also want to know what y'all think of Colleen's response and the responses of other comments so far. We still have a little bit. She's not done. And I've never understood the, the people, anybody who has the time or e effort or desire to like write angry comments anywhere on the internet. Can we be very clear on something? Angry is not bad. Angry is an emotion. What you do with that anger is important right? Now, if you go and you take that anger out on someone mentally, emotionally, physically, not good. But the anger itself, the emotion is not bad. Emotions in of themselves are not bad things. What you do with those emotions can be bad or can be good. So for her to say that, she's just upset people are commenting things out of anger on her post. And I don't think all of them are out of anger. I will say the angry ones and the not angry ones that are telling her it was a bad post, are both constructive criticism. You can be angry and still give criticism and it can be constructive too. Now, is it presented in the way that she wants? No, but honestly, she wouldn't accept anything that isn't rainbows and unicorn poop shot right up her butt. So she wouldn't even accept probably kind criticism. And as we see here, she's continuing to shame these people who left a comment, whether out of anger or criticism, because she's going to title them all as angry comments, even if some of those people weren't angry. Uh, when they see something they don't agree with, like I just, that does not compute in my brain, but it's obviously it happens every day. Um, instead of getting pissed off at me in the comments section, you could have taken those several minutes. Okay. <laughs> and I've never understood the, the people, anybody who has the time or e effort or desire to like write angry comments anywhere on the internet uh, when they see something they don't agree with. Like I just, that does not compute in my brain, but it's obviously it happens every day. Um, instead of getting pissed off at me in the comments section, 
you could have taken those several minutes and worked your business. Again, again, she's shaming those people for even commenting anything and saying, you could have worked your business in that amount of time. Her idea of coaching is actually the worst. She might be the most toxic MLM person I've come across. Now, Jessie Lee has her own category, okay? She's not just like an MLM girly. She's like a cult leader, in my opinion. So, but Colleen, she's just a toxic, mean, egregious human being overall. And many people have let me know about what she's done in her MLM and how she's treated some people. The irony of her saying, no shame sales game is unbelievable because what she's showing is she is all about the shame. She is all about shaming people. Many people like myself have been saying this for well over a year that she is all about shame. But now I think MLM people are seeing it. I'm really happy that they are because it's disgusting to watch. Um, just checking back in after um, doing some more work. Um, and since my engagement is through the roof, I thought I would take this opportunity to let people know that if you don't get your panties in a wad and you know that um, to reach your goals, that it requires um, work and you can do that without burnout and have fun and be a human on the internet, uh, you can come join my space in direct sales growth community. If today upset you, you're not my people. Okay. It got worse. <laughs> it actually did. So she's titled her link, Panty Waters Not Welcome. And she acts as though that if you want to be a part, right, if you want to uh, reach your goals, that it requires work. And you can do that without burnout. But what's so funny and, and weird and shows me how dense she is, is that people were telling her that. People were like, this is the kind of stuff that burnt me out. Like this toxic, this toxic hustle culture is what made me want to quit. This toxic hustle culture that you're pushing is the opposite of what is good for people with work. Toxic hustle culture is all about burnout. It is. You're going to burn out. You're going to get tired. Things are going to go bad. And she's promoting that, but saying that she's not. She's just a liar. I, I've seen her lie so many times. In my opinion, from the many videos I've watched of hers, she is a huge liar and also rude. This is someone who actually backed her up in their comments. Like I said, the comments were 99% against what she said, but there are those one percenters out there, which we all know. This person is one of those people. So I'm going to let you listen to what she says about it, and then we're going to talk about it. All right, so I did not watch the Super Bowl yesterday, so I missed the halftime show. But the internet is ablaze because Rihanna performed for the first time since like 2018. She's pregnant with her second kid. Very exciting stuff. What I find interesting is what Instagram's really buzzing over, at least in my neck of Instagram, is this debate waging between moms and working moms and just women in general. With I think if you're looking at Colleen's content, right, her comments, this isn't a debate. This is people calling her out for her toxic hustle culture, her shameful tactics to get them to work, and her overall incompetence of being a decent person. It's on one hand, is this perpetuating this toxic hustle culture versus some women are like, I felt really empowered seeing her get up there and yes, she's pregnant, but like no excuses and she got it done. And I'm really inspired by that. Um, I have a hot take on this and I suspect it's going to piss a few people off, but we're okay with that here. If you feel the need to get up in arms and say, Hey, what about me? I'm struggling with this, this, this take time. Then have your season of rest, have multiple seasons of rest. If you're someone who feels personally victimized by women who find inspiration in a mom kicking and use that as a reminder to ourselves that, hey, I can do it pregnant. This wasn't about people, moms, or anyone in general finding what Rihanna did as inspirational. This was about a popular MLM coach using shame as a tactic to get people to work. She was intentionally shaming people to work as one of her tactics. 
as she calls herself no shame sales game, there's a problem there. Of course, Rihanna was inspirational. She always is. She's, she's Riri. She's always inspirational. I feel like this person's missing the point of the post and the reaction to it. Colleen did it to shame people to work. And that's called toxic hustle culture. We're past that. That's 2016. We're in 2023. And apparently ML and Boss Babes are not always about that toxic work culture. And can we be honest? Most of the time, true. Yeah, they like to push that toxic work, work culture. However, when you use the fact that Rihanna's pregnant and you bring moms into this, it's a whole different ballgame. Colleen lives a privileged life and she forgets that people are going through things. She doesn't understand empathy. And I say that because I've watched her for over a year do this and now she's done it loud enough to where people are tired. I can do it breastfeeding. I can do it anxious, depressed, all the things. If you take issue with women finding inspiration and motivation to keep pursuing their dreams, even at their lowest states, when for you personally, you need rest, no one's mandating that you participate in it. This is not toxic hustle culture. This is women inspiring women. And if it's not your season, feel free to not internalize it. But stop ruining it for the ones that are inspired. Like, so what this girl is showing me is that she just does not understand what's going on. She's incapable of seeing the issue, which is wild to me, but you do you, girl. So I want to hear what you think about all of this. I am so glad that people who are not just anti-MLM are calling her out. And let me say, a lot of people. She's lost over 300 followers the last time I looked on Instagram in one day, which is huge for her because she's been gaining, 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 gaining for a long time. And like I said, I don't do it very often, but props to those who are MLMers who told her something. While I think there's a lot of toxicity in MLM, I'm glad that some of you don't fall into every category of toxic. Whether you're in an MLM or not, what are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with Colleen? Do you not agree with her? Do you think that this is shame or not shame? Let me know in, in the comments. I want to I want to hear what you have to say, but I just can't see it any other way. I don't know how it's not shaming people. Anyway, that's all I have. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't care about what has been I only care about yours